this is the tactical battle between Bayern and Real Madrid. In zone A Madrid pressed with two players trying to cover the central channels, while in zone B Bayern placed three players behind Madrid's midfielders. The times Bayern progressed through the sides, these three players ran to the opponent's half, creating triangles with Kane and one player attacking the half space. Sometimes Real Madrid pressed with three players in zone A, but the Germans had four players between the strikers and midfielders. Neuer was able to find them. Mendy joined the midfielders to keep the balance, but when Tuchel's side created triangles and attacked with four players, Mendy dropped back and Madrid overloaded the side with five players. Musiala tried to advance with the ball, but as he was playing on the right, he couldn't move inside and only tried crosses. Bayern had four players to build and six players in the final third, while the Spanish had five players at the back, because they were covering with five midfielders, making it difficult for Bayern to advance. However, the Germans attacked the sides with three players each and they didn't attack the space between the centre-backs. Real Madrid dropped back near their box with nine players, while on the left Sané had similar problems to Musiala. When he had the space, he couldn't look for a shot due to his weak foot, so he played inside trying to create triangles. But Madrid had many players to defend. In Real Madrid's offensive structure, Bayern pressed with five players in zone A. Therefore, Ancelotti's side played long and Bayern recovered the ball since their defensive block had numerical superiority. Kroos was an important player in the build-up, because without the ball he attracted Müller and this created the space between Kane and Müller to find Choameni. As he received free, Bayern's midfielders jumped to press and Vinicius occupied the space between the lines. Kim followed him and started an offensive transition, which Sané couldn't finish. With the ball, Cross was the playmaker. He directed the build-up. He was always creating passing lines to receive the ball and usually tried to play forward. Bellingham dropped back between the opponent's strikers and midfielders to help Cross in the build-up, while on the other side Vinicius dropped back behind the opponent's midfielders. The opening goal came thanks to Cross. Bayern was covering the side with four players, but Cross advanced to the free space to receive the ball. Vinicius dropped back behind the opponent's midfielders. Kim followed him, but Vinicius made a smart movement by attacking Kim's back. Cross waited for the right moment and assisted Vinicius. For the second half, Sané moved to the right and Musiala to the left. Bayern attacked through the sides, however Madrid had a numerical superiority and recovered the ball to start counter-attacks. Again, Vinicius received between the lines. Kim didn't follow him, but still Vinicius attracted him and created a space for Bellingham, who saw the run of cross on the left. The equalizer started on the left, where Bayern was attacking with four players. Leimer advanced to the free space and attracted Madrid's midfielders. He played to the right to Sané. Here Bayern had numerical superiority because the Spanish midfielders were far from Sané. He moved inside and with his strong foot he scored. This was a good tactical decision by Tuchel because Sané and Musiala were able to run inside to shoot. Müller played an important role in the build-up, since he was smart to find the space between Cross and Rodrigo, as he had the space he could see for the right pass. Guerreiro ran inside attracting Madrid's fullback and creating space for Musiala, who got into the box and gained a penalty kick. Müller kept finding the space and receiving free, this time a centre-back followed him, creating a space for Kane's run. Real Madrid attacked through the left side trying to create a space and triangles. The equaliser started with Bayern pressing with six players in Madrid's half. Chouameni played a long ball to the left where the Spanish had four players. Rodrigo was always with Kim, but when Vinicius passed the ball, Rodrigo with a great movement overcame Kim and gained a penalty kick. 
leave your thoughts about Tuchel and Ancelotti's tactic. Don't forget to drop a like and thanks for watching. This video is brought to you by Play by Metrica Sports, the fundamental tool for every coach and analyst. Create and manage all your video analysis in one platform.